Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to a brand new video here on the Bioshock Hub. So, I think there's been a question looming around in my mind since the announcement of this new Bioshock. More specifically, the launch of Cloud Chamber Studios by Take-Two and 2K. And that is, who exactly is Cloud Chamber Studios? Who's working there? Who's going to be working on this next Bioshock? Etc. Unfortunately, we don't have much information besides the initial article that I'm kind of pointing at here, along with Cloud Chamber Studios' own website. And unfortunately, they don't seem to have any sort of social media. You can't see it here. If we scroll all the way down to the bottom, there's nothing. So really, we have nothing to work with besides 2K possibly tweeting out or putting something out on a Facebook page or something like that, or a blog post or something to that effect from Take Two as well. But we will work with what we have here. So over the last year and a half, obviously, I've been covering all of the news, rumors, speculation on the new Bioshock. And I have concluded that we know at least two former workers on two former Bioshocks that are working on this new game along with a third person who is the head of the Cloud Chamber Studios in Novato. So, obviously, we have Kelly Gilmore. She is the head of Cloud Chamber Studios, as it will mention in this article here. We have Sean Elliott, which I did make a video on, and he was a Bioshock Infinite level designer and associate producer on that game. And then we have Jim Engram, who is a senior UI designer. More specifically, he provided things like the hacking, the map, and a couple of different things within Bioshock 2, and he was working with 2K Marin. I will provide both of those videos in cards at the top right hand corner of this screen, along with down in the description if you guys want to check them out. So, Cloud Chamber, a collaborative team of inspired minds who create games together. Cloud Chamber, purveyors, or purveyors, of fine video games is proud to officially announce our launch. Our studio exists to craft unique, entertaining, and thoughtful video game experiences that engage the world. So that is a pretty good start. However, if we had more information, that would be quite nice. What are we working on? Cloud Chamber is hard at work on the next entry in the critically acclaimed Bioshock series. Our team consists of veteran Bioshock developers, which I would still like to know who they are personally, but again, that's kind of hush-hush right now, and expert game makers from other mind-blowing titles, and together we're going to create worlds that you'll want to explore. Another thing, from other mind-blowing titles, I really wish I knew what other titles that they were talking about so we knew who exactly is working on this game. And I know it might sound like I'm petty and kind of nitpicking here, and I am. I just want to know if we're going to get good quality workers on this game, because we've been waiting a long time. And to put a light emphasis on we don't want this project to fail, that being the Bioshock community, that's just putting it lightly. Anyways, regardless, two great locations, one great team. And as I mentioned before, they have a studio in Novato, California, and Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And obviously the job hirings, if you guys are interested and have the credentials, go ahead. Why don't you apply? I'll leave the actual website down in the description for you guys. How we work. We believe in the beauty and strength of diversity in both the makeup of the studio and the nature of our thinking. We focus on open communication and overall well-being, allowing each, us, each of us to strive for excellence in our work and happiness in our lives. And here's a nice little picture. You can pick out Kelly Gilmore. I think that's Sean Elliott in the back. I'm not sure about Jim Ingram, though. Not sure where he's at, but this is all we got. No names, just a picture. And then it says, check us out. It's a small world, and we're sure you'll see some familiar faces. We've come from a, an array of cool professional backgrounds, children's book illustrators, tabletop game makers, experimental theater directors, an undertaker, an airline pilot, 
a high school math teacher, a concert promoter, and more. This stew of ingredients is a source of our superpower. Our passion for interactive entertainment creation is what brings us all together. And I don't really see the necessity of putting all of this. I guess it's just to show the diversity of Cloud Chamber. But I guess it's unique in its own quirky little way. So now let's go back and take a look at the article that was released quite a while ago. So this is, again, on uh, 2K's direct website, and I'll leave that link in the description as well. So this goes back all the way to December 9th. 2K today announced the founding of Cloud Chamber Studios, the newest wholly owned game development studio under the company's publishing label. A collective of storytellers eager to push the front lines of interactive entertainment by making unique, entertaining, and thoughtful experiences that engage the world. Cloud Chamber will build its team at two locations, as I mentioned, the Nevada, California base, as well as the Montreal, Quebec base, which marks the first ever Canadian office for a 2K studio, which that is relatively cool. In addition, 2K announced that Cloud Chamber has started to work on the next iteration of the globally acclaimed Bioshock franchise. We already know that, which will be in development for the next several years. Now about this part, I've already kind of alluded to it in live streams and a couple of videos, but I have heard a few rumors, and by that I mean a lot of rumors, that this has actually been in development and scrapped and been in development again since 2015 so i don't know whether or not to believe that like the rumors or just to take this at face value and expect this to be maybe a later this year early next year possibly 2022 release i'm not exactly sure so again i really don't know what to take at face value here but let's continue as we continue growing our product portfolio, we remain inspired by opportunities to invest further in our valuable IP, great people, and their collective long-term potential," said David Ishmailer, president of 2K. Bioshock is one of the most beloved, critically praised, and highest rated franchises of the last console generation. We can't wait to see where its powerful narrative and iconic first-person shooter gameplay head in the future with our new studio team at Cloud Chamber leading the charge. As I mentioned, the 22-year industry vet, Kelly Gilmore, she will be the head of Cloud Chamber Studios. And she worked at studios like Fair Axis Games on franchises like Sid Miller's, or Sid Meier's, sorry, Civilization and XCOM. So, next paragraph. We founded Cloud Chamber to create yet-to-be-discovered worlds and their stories within that push the boundaries of what is possible in the video game medium, she says. Cloud Chamber also says, Our team believes in the beauty and strength of diversity in both the makeup and the studio and the nature of its thinking. We are a deeply experienced group of game makers, including many responsible for Bioshock's principal creation. Again, I would like to know who those people are in particular, their advancement and long-standing notoriety, and honored to be a part of the 2K family as stewards of this iconic franchise. So with that being said, I hope this gives you guys some clarity as to who's actually going to be working on the next Bioshock. I know in terms of the actual names of the workers here, we're not getting too many in terms of former Bioshock employees or former people who worked on Bioshock besides these two guys right here. So that's a little unfortunate, but if you guys happen to know anybody that has worked on previous Bioshocks that got rehired for this particular project, please let me know down in the comment section below. If this video was helpful at all, please let me know down in the comment section below or by leaving a like on the video. The reason why I wanted to make this, I know a lot of hardcore fans out there probably have already dug into who Cloud Chamber is, but this is for the people who maybe have just gotten Bioshock the Collection or have recently gotten into the series and are looking forward to this next installment. So I just wanted to clarify 
who's working on this next game and where it's going to be heading in the future. And I do hope it enlightens some people out there. So with that being said, if you guys want to see more Bioshock videos in the future, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications to never miss a video or a live stream, and be sure to share it on a social media platform of your choice. It really does help out the video and the channel as well. If you want to follow me on any of my social medias, I do answer all of my DMs. So Twitter and Instagram are the best ways to do so. Both will be linked in the description below. Lastly, thank you all for the recent support on the channel. It really means a lot. And with that being said, I will talk to you all in the next video. Take care.